How's, uh, how's camp going for you? Good. I'm, I'm very happy that I came uh, in the spring because I'm getting more of a grasp of the offense uh, and what Coach Kelly wants and what Coach Gundy wants. So I'm very happy with coming in early uh, and being able to, you know, learn more uh, throughout the fall and expand on what I've already known. How do you, does Coach Kelly tell you anything about kind of the ground rules for the competition or are you guys just out there kind of feeling it out as it goes? No, we're out there just all competing every single day. Uh, we all rotate equal, equally, so, you know, it's whoever's at the end of the day is going to be the best uh, for this program uh, and for the organization. Just to follow up on that, Chip Kelly mentioned at Media Day that he, going into spring, he's like, just told you guys to kind of be loose. There's no starter that's going to be named. Um, at any point during the spring. Did that make things any easier at all for you guys? I mean, football's football. We're all going to come out here and compete with each other every day. I mean, you know, if first string, fifth string, you're going to compete uh, for the starting spot. So none of that really, you know, matters, you know, loosening up or, or make you tight or anything. But, you know, come out here and compete every day and, you know, give it your best, op uh, your best option. And then, you know, competing with these guys is definitely fun because we've got a good group in the quarterback room. So, you know, you come out here, you get better every single day because the guys in the room make you better. At the end of the day, it's uh, basically about UCLA getting the win. You know, what, so what is it like working with uh, guys that you're battling against? You know, are you helping each other out? You know, uh, trying to figure out the schemes with each other? How's that like? Yeah, I mean, he always says offense helps defense, defense helps offense. But you know, it's in your meeting room too. It's in your position room. Uh, you know, who's going to help who and. You know, CG does a great job, Chase Griffin, uh, Garbs, all of them. They do a great job of helping, you know, the young guys and the new guys that came in uh, with the offense and with what Coach Kelly wants exactly and what Coach Gundy wants too. You see you got a little sleeve going there. Are you recovering from any sort of injury right now? No, I just have soreness in the lower half of my body. Okay. Uh, so just, just sore, uh, just tight, just make sure it doesn't get hit or anything like that. Was uh... Were you a part of that off-season conditioning program everybody's been talking about? Yes, I was. How did that, did that benefit you, you think, especially as a running quarterback? Uh, yeah, very much. Uh, I would say at, at Kent, my last school, we did a lot of a lot of conditioning. Uh, flash fast was their term. Uh, but here, I never experienced uh, this kind of, kind of conditioning. It's a little bit more intense. Uh, and then, you know, they expect a lot more out of you because, you know, you come to such a great school, you got to give it your best. So if you don't, they're going to start getting on you and getting on you until you give it your best. How much of a change or learning curve is this offense compared to what you had with Coach Lewis at Kent State? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is more of an NFL-style offense. So at Kent State, it was pretty self-explanatory, pretty, you know, it was basically just like normal college offense. This is way more, you know, I don't know, there's more stuff going on, more schemes, but it's helped me for the long run where I want to go in the future. More in terms of reads and making progressions and all that? Yeah, and, and just every the calls and everything like that. And, you know, Coach Lewis kind of made it simple for us. You know, here it's not too – it's not simple, but, you know, if you if you go dive into the playbook, you can understand it very well, and it's going to help you in the future. Is there something that you feel like you do – particularly well in this offense or in general and then how would you kind of assess what maybe all the quarterbacks do well in terms of do you have a specific skill that stands out or has stood out to you? Well something I think I did very well at Kent was uh, all the RPO stuff and you know, you know if my repeat dives you know I'm running and so I think running is one of the uh, really good things that I do and being able to throw on the run but now everybody has their own little thing you know could be you know they're a good passer good pocket quarterback good, good uh, runner you know so everybody's working on their little things they need to work on. So, you know, if I don't feel comfortable with doing something, then I'm going to keep working on it so I feel comfortable with that. What are position meetings like? Like, how would you describe, like, the dialogue? Fun. Fun. Very fun. Uh, you know, we're in there. You know, you don't just compete on the field. You compete in the meeting rooms, too, you know. You try to be the first one to answer all the questions. Uh, you you want to get caught on to go right up on the board and answer all these questions. So it's fun, especially dealing with these guys. They're, they're a group of... Uh, very, very interesting individuals, <laughs> and they're very fun to be around. Interesting how? <laughs> uh, very fun. They all come from they all come from different parts of the world. Yeah. I come from all the way to the East Coast. Guards and them are all the way on the West Coast. So, you know, you bring in six different people from six different places, you're going to get a different type of group of people. How do you kind of embrace, like, learning at this level? Like, are you excessive note-taker? Do you ask a lot of questions? Uh, yeah, excessive note-taker and a lot of questions uh, is definitely the two things. I think that... You're not going to learn unless you don't write it down. Uh, that's especially for me. I'm really good at 
I'm really good at taking it in and writing it down multiple times so I can get it in my head. Uh, I'm not really good if you just tell me one thing and then I don't get to write it down or don't get to go over it. So, but yeah, excessive note taking, uh, you know, asking questions, not just Coach Gundy, but Coach Kelly, you know, the way he wants to see it. So that's the two things that you got to do in all meetings, team meetings, position meetings, whatever meeting it is. Coach Kelly puts together some interesting formations. What, 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 what is your thought process in looking at some of the stuff that he uh, concocts? Well, I mean, I'm never going to doubt Coach Kelly. He's been doing this for a long time. So, you know, anytime he does something, you know, it's probably for the better of the team. So I'm going to be all in with it. Uh, you know, it might mess up some of our rules or something like that. But, you know, we're going to find a way around that to be better as a team. When you look back on the spring, where have you made maybe the most significant strides? And what are you still trying to, uh, you know, get down? I'd say the most significant was just, you know, on the board, like in the classroom, uh, you know, being able to draw up the plays, being able to memorize the plays. Uh, but, you know, you still got to expand on that. Like I said earlier, you're not just going to be perfect immediately. So that's still something I'm working on is just getting those plays down like the back of my hands so I don't got to think when I'm out there and I can just play fast. Is the comfort level better now and it's become a more reaction instead of having to think? Yes, very much. That's why I was, I'm glad I came in in the spring and I got that head start. Uh, on the uh, playbook, so it was very nice doing that. You played against uh, the man of steel, Carson Steele. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what were your impressions of him? He's kind of uh, well, he is unbelievable, load, right? He's unbelievable back, you know. He's probably, well, I looked at the stats. He has so many yards after contact, and, you know, you can see that in his build. You know, he's a big kid, and, you know, he runs hard, and he's a smart kid, too, so. You know, I see him, like I said last time, I see him every day. He's my he's my roommate, oh. so I love hanging out with him. You know, he's such a great guy. Uh, and shout out Crocky J. Yeah. How much, <laughs> you, how much you guys talk about Crocky J? Does he ever throw you on a Zoom with him? Or? No, he doesn't. <laughs> but uh, but I've seen a picture of Crocky J, and that's not something I would probably mess with. So. <laughs> Are there, like, any, like, wild stories he's probably told you about? Because I it, uh, just ask, at his house, Ask right? to see his thumb. I think Crocky J okay. got a little bit of a stum one day, so okay. yeah, I'll probably just stay far away from uh, Crocky J. But you know, I love Carson, so okay, maybe one day I'll get to meet Crocky J. Awesome, thank no you.